Hello there, I'm Amanda from Amanda PMA and I'm just going to show you how to safely perform your patch test. You will receive one in the post once we have had a chat via telephone call or email. I will have sent you some digital forms. You'll have the patch test form and the consultation form. You will need to conduct this patch test before you fill out the form. Um, you're going to have to give it 48 hours just to make sure that no reactions occur. You can fill out the patch testing form and submit that back to me. Once I've received all of your information, we can then put you in um, into a booking system and um, we can go from there. So in the patch testing kit, you'll receive a before treatment card. This is going to explain to you everything that you need to do just to make sure your skin is as healthy and as strong as it could possibly be before your appointment. You'll also receive um, a couple of pots, one with a pigment in it and one with a numbing gel. This is for the secondary numbing which we'll use throughout the procedure. If um, you're a bit nervous or if your pain threshold is really low, then you can um, go and buy Emla or another numbing cream from a chemist and just apply that to your skin about 15 minutes before you come into your treatment. Um, also in the kit, you will receive a wipe and a lancet. Make sure that you thoroughly wash your hands carefully before you do this and if somebody else is going to be doing this on you that they also wash their hands and wear gloves. So what we're going to do is um, first of all we're going to get the wipe and we're going to just choose an area on your inner arm. It's fine. Just wipe it down. Get your lancet and just unscrew this bit off. Now this is a sharp so it needs to be treated as such. So we're going to need to dispose of this once you've used it carefully and I'll show you how to do that. Then you want to get your pots and the first one dip into the pigment, take a really big bit of the liquid onto the needle and then you just gently scratch just gently. You don't need to draw any blood. We don't want to leave a lined tattoo. If you do, it's fine. It will fade out. But just a gentle scratch. Give it a little bit of a wipe. And then we'll do the same with the gel. Just a big bit on there. We just want it to get under that thin layer of top skin. A little scratch. Okay. Then you can, again, you can use the wipe just to rub any pigment off. That's fine. You'll know if you have a reaction to either of those within 48 hours um, and then you then you can let me know. Um, to dispose of the lancet you can just open up the packet and pop it in there and safely seal that up. There we go. It's quite a thick foil lining inside of there so it will be nicely safely stored for you to then throw away. That's it folks and um, any questions do get in touch um, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, bye.